So today we are starting the countertop refinishing. It's gonna be kind of scary and exciting to do though. Right now our countertops are original, on more than two are original to the house. Um, they look like they're from what, late 60s, early 70s? Yep. So we decided to refinish them rather than Pull the trigger by granite or, count or quartz countertops right now. We figured let's try to repurpose them if we can. If not, then we'll spend $3,000 on new counters. Exactly. But yeah, so um, we're going to try and do this epoxy uh, process and look super cool. Might work, might not work. Looks easy too. It does look So easy. we bought the kit from Stone Coat Countertops. Yep. It's a whole kit. I mean, it gives you like everything you could need mm -hmm. to make it look good. So as long as everything goes as planned, then our countertops will look like black quartz. Yes, with uh, silver and uh, pearl uh, mica chips in it. Mica so. chips, it has some glitter I think in it too, yep. which I don't know, I love glitter. Yeah, uh, it looks really nice um, on the videos where he's showing how to do it. Uh, so yeah, we figured for 500 bucks we try it, if it works, awesome. If not, then we'll get a contractor out here and put in Put in granite or quartz. No, countertop company, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Same thing, I guess. Um, so anyways, we have to, we have all the countertops currently off inside of our garage right now. What we have to do is go through and clean all the gunk off of them. Yep. We've got to scrape all the um, caulking off that was around the sink. Mm -hmm. And then we gotta use some uh, cleaner that's gonna go and remove any of the grease. Um, more residue on the counters itself. Uh, we are using TSP that we just bought from like Home Depot. It was uh, what the countertop epoxy company recommended and what they use. So of course we wanted to use the same stuff. And uh, yeah, so that's what we're gonna be doing. Um, once we get it uh, kind of scraped off with all the old caulking and the old glue from uh, the backsplash of when it was on there, put the TSP on there, let it dry. Um, Actually, right before the TSP, we're gonna sand it down with like 220, um, just to knock off a top layer, so 225 coarse uh, sandpaper. Then put the TSP on there. Then um, put a bonding agent on there because it's a solid smooth surface for the epoxy, again, recommended by the epoxy company. Um, and that's so yeah. just so the epoxy will adhere to the smooth surface yes. of the laminate countertops. Exactly. Um, so yeah. Should be fun. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> These are our countertops currently. You probably can't tell in the video, but there is this really sweet gold oh, slash no, you, yellowy. You can see it. Can you? Yeah. Oh yeah. You betcha. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we don't like that. Um, so we're gonna see if we can refinish them for 500 bucks. If not, we tried. We learned, and. Um, then we'll get a counter a countertop company out here and actually put them in if, if this goes sideways. But anyway, yep. hope you enjoy it. Um, maybe you'll learn something too in this video. Maybe it'll inspire you to do something. Or maybe you'll see it and see how horrible of a job we did. <laughs> <laughs> and realize that, okay, this DIY is not for everyone. Right. And in that case, it wouldn't be for us, but maybe it would be for you. Uh, yep. So anyway, enjoy.
you guys. So it's the next day. <clears throat> we went ahead and we have uh, scraped off any of the uh, residual copying that was left on the countertop from the backsplash being attached and from the sink being attached as well. Uh, we went ahead and we sanded down with a fine grit um, uh, 220. Uh, 180 will work as well. Uh, just to level out any of those imperfections, scratches. And now we are going to add a cleaning agent to go ahead and remove any um, underlying uh, you know, dirt or grease or grime or what have you that uh, could be on the counters. And we are going to be using TSP for that. So basically follow the directions on the container, uh, lay it on the counter and let it dry. Good morning. So we have the main, well, the biggest countertop, which is the sink countertop, um, bondoed, cleaned off with the TSP. And now Josh is going to use um, the bonding primer, right? Yep. Bonding primer to paint on top of the laminate. You have to have this in order for the paint to adhere to the laminate since it's such a smooth finish. Um, so yeah, we'll see what it looks like. And you only have to do just a like a, a thin coat, a really thin coat of this. And uh, basically, this is going to help the epoxy bond. Um, and then after this dries, we'll put on one coat of the base paint, which is going to be black. And and it's the bare two in one, right? Yes, yeah, the bare two in one paint and primer. Um, so we'll do that. We'll let the first coat dry. We'll sand it down with a fine, uh, fine grit 220, and put on the second base coat. Let that dry, and then we'll be ready to do our epoxy. Which honestly, <laughs> a little scary. Um, I've heard that epoxy, like you've got to work pretty quickly with it. This has a 45 minute work time. Oh, so okay. Yeah. We'll have 45 minutes to hopefully get it basically just trowel it out. out, trowel it out, and then you've got to take like a brush and um, chop it. Chop it. Chop, chop it. Yeah, because it uh, doing the chopping basically, so you use a trowel. Um, if you've ever laid tile, it's pretty much a tile throughout uh, the trowel. Um, and you want to chop it out basically to remove the trowel marks. So you'll chop it out and then what it'll do is uh, remove the trowel marks, settle, and then we got to go over it with a torch. And that is to get rid of any bubbles, um, help with the drying process, and uh, make it like a glass finish. So we got to do two coats of the epoxy. One is the color additive coat. So that's where we'll basically, well, not just color, but um, like design additive, right? So that's where we'll have the mica chips, mm -hmm. the crushed pearl, crushed pearl, and I think glitter too. Yeah, yeah, silver, um, silver and black glitter. Yeah. So the end result is to make it look like black quartz, which yep. is really shiny, sparkly. Yep. Nice looking. That's our end goal. And it's called like Black Galaxy. Black Galaxy Quartz countertop. Looks super cool. 
probably one of the easiest designs, which is good, Hopefully. as this Hopefully. is our very first time ever doing it. Uh, and we think it looks great, and it should look great with the white counters. So we're pretty excited to see if it works out for us. We hope it does work. Because if not, we'll, you know, as I mentioned, we'll basically be paying a few thousand dollars to get the same exact look, but in real courts. <laughs> That's not ideal. We just really don't want to have to do that. Right, which is why we decided to try this route. Um, to repurpose. Yeah, repurpose, save some money. Cost us about 500 bucks for the whole epoxy kit and everything. So, if we can get pretty nice looking counters for 500 bucks and it's... And it's, they're heat it's, resistant. Too. Yeah, they're, they're not uh, porous. It won't soak in. They're heat resistant. If we scratch them up... Um, you literally can re-sand them, mix up a little bit of epoxy, and correct it. So Super forgiving. Yeah. Uh, but, that being said, there is a cure time on this stuff. So, once the epoxy is laid, you want to give it at least three days before you start using it. Which for me, y'all know how I am with some of y'all means do not touch for like a month because if I could find a way to scratch it, um, put some sort of indentation in it, I'll do it. Don't worry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she will do that. I can't help it. Well. Well. All right. So we're going to finish up the primer on this and then once it's dry, we'll come back and show you guys the um, base coat for the black paint. Yep. All right. All right, guys, the uh, primer's on, it's dried. Now it's time to add the base color. Um, and you want to use a pretty decent quality paint and primer in one. We went with the Bear, it's what uh, is recommended by the epoxy company. So we went with that. Um, and yeah, time to roll it out. All right, so we added our half and half resin and um, hardener, and now we have to add the additives. So we have silver glitter, black glitter, crushed pearl mica, and silver side mica flakes. per quart each.
And thankfully, we have a heater in our garage, like a gas heater. I mean, it's like a kind of... It's a four-star. So we have a heated garage, so we're able to do this out in the garage versus having to put uh, rosin paper all over the floor in the dining room or kitchen and do this in there. And we don't have to worry about the smell or gunner, gunner hair getting in there or anything like that. Ooh, that's good. Cool. Yeah, so once we add everything to the mix, we uh, just use a paddle mixer and a drill for two minutes and mix it up. And then we have about a 45 minute working time and then we'll have to just trial it all out. Mica, so that's the pearl, that's that one? Silver. Mm. Got the timer, two minutes. I hope so. So this one quart mixture will do about 10 square feet uh, and then we'll just have to mix up some more if we run out after doing the, the sink base. Well, the sink L actually, but yeah. Alright. Wipe down. Trout Moment of truth. We'll go ahead and let everything fall out here and start working it. So we'll get about 45 minutes from this point. Currently, we have a washer and dryer being delivered right now, and Josh just told me, I thought that the blowtorch thing could wait a little bit, but he just told me that we got to do it now, so he's inside dealing with that. Guess what I get to do? <laughs> Alright, how does this work? Oh, I gotta keep that held. Okay. Let's see how this goes. I'll just hope I don't catch anything on fire or myself.
All right, so now if you look at it that we, I, well, now if you look to see where the blowtorch went over, it's not as cloudy looking um, and it's a lot more shiny. I feel like it definitely looks like black quartz too. Can't wait.